Hello everyone and welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how we can run our JMeter scripts from the command line which is the non-GUI mode. So let's begin. So far what we were doing is that we were creating our scripts in the JMeter and we were also executing the scripts from here. Okay. So let me open my existing test which we created in our previous sessions. Okay. So let me open this one. Okay. And in order to execute this test we were executing this test from here. Okay. Let me execute this test from here okay and let's see what happens so you will see the results here and we got the results here so that's how we were doing till now but this is not a good practice when you are actually putting a load on an application okay now what is the best way to execute your script the best way to execute your performance script is a command line which is known as a non gui mode now why we need to run our scripts from the command line okay there are multiple reasons for that so the first reason is that whenever we execute our script from the interface, it will consume, it will consume a lot of memory and resources because this is a Java application. It will consume a lot of your memory and your resources of your system from where you are running the JMeter scripts. Okay. This is one reason. Okay. Now the second reason is that tomorrow if you want to run your scripts on any DevOps tool, okay, for example, Jenkins, okay, so you need to provide, you need to provide a command to in order to run your script, okay. So these are the two reasons. Now let's understand the point one here. In case if JMeter is consuming a lot of memory and resources, then what will happen? Okay, there are two possibilities, okay. One is that you might not get the proper performance results okay and the second is that you might not get any result so no results at all okay so when we are talking about the resources what can be the possible resources here for that i'm opening a task manager here okay and the core resources are the cpu memory disk and the network okay if you click on this performance okay it's showing that how my cpu is being utilized memory disk and internet okay so as soon as you put a lot of load or generating a lot of load through the jmeter it will consume a lot of your cpu memory internet okay or your network bandwidth so if it reaches to maybe 70 percent plus okay so your processing time will delay okay and that delay of processing okay delay of processing is included in the response time you get in jmeter so this means that you're not getting the actual response time of your application the delay of your jmeter because of the resource consumption is also included okay and if this resource consumption reaches to the hundred percent okay so your jmeter will stop jmeter will stop working okay and in this case you will get no results okay so that's why we need to execute our scripts from the command line instead of opening the jmeter ui okay and executing the script from the ui now let's open the jmeter command prompt here okay so this is the one command prompt it it will actually appear when you start the jmeter and if you can see here they have also mentioned that don't use the GUI mode for the load testing only for the test creation and debugging purpose okay for load testing use the CLI mode which is a non UI mode okay so here is a command okay so let me write this command and understand this command here okay, let me copy from here and let me paste it here okay now what this command is we have a keyword called jmeter okay then we have dash n dash n means that we want to execute our jmeter script or the jmeter from the non ui mode dash t means that we need to provide a jmeter script file which have an extension called dot jmx and then dash l means where we need to put our results after execution okay so usually we need to provide a file so jmeter accepts two kind of file here one is called dot 
JTL and the other is called .csv. So the commonly the best practice is that you should be using the .csv file. So this is a simple command here, okay, which will help us to execute our script from the command line. Now let's open the command prompt and let's execute our script from the command line. Okay, for that type here as cmd. Okay, so now first thing you need to do is that you need to traverse to the jmeter bin directory. Otherwise, this jmeter command will not get executed. Okay, so for that I'm going to my D drive. Okay, and in the D drive I will be going to my Apache jmeter dash 5.4. Okay, cd apache dash jmeter dash okay then 5.4 okay and then we need to go to again the same folder okay now if i type directory here you will see that we have a bin folder so again cd and bin so right now you are in the jmeter bin folder from where you can execute the jmeter using the bash file okay so if i provide a jmeter command here in the command prompt okay so it will get recognized otherwise it will not recognize a jmeter command okay then what we need to do is that we need to type a jmeter dash n dash t okay now you need to provide a jmeter dot jmx file okay so let me go to the jmeter and our file or script is blaze demo sample dot jmx okay so let me go here and let me copy from here okay so this is the file right click on this one go to the properties and copy from here okay and now go to the command prompt here again and you need to provide this file here okay now what we need to provide we need to provide where we want to save the results okay for that we need to create a csv file first and then we need to provide a path of that csv file here okay so let's go to the desktop here okay and open excel here okay and in excel you need to create a blank dot csv file okay so create a blank file here and now click on file go to save as okay i am saving on the desktop okay and let's name it as non gui okay and we need to select as a csv comma delimited okay click on this one and save this file okay and you need to keep this format yes okay now we have this file on the on the desktop click on this file okay and you see that we don't have any kind of the data here in this particular file right now close this file from here and let's copy the path of this file okay go to the properties and this is the path and this is the name of the file so copy this path from here okay and let me open the notepad here so that we can create a proper path for this file okay and then we have to provide the name okay and then we also need to provide extension of that file as well okay so this is non gui dot csv so this is a complete path okay from here and copy this one from here go to the command line here and then we need to provide dash l and then the name of file okay so go to the command prompt and provide dash l and then we need to provide a command copy this one from here and then provide here okay and here you might have a question that for the script we just provided the name of the script but for the csv file we have provided a whole path so why this happens because this jmeter script is under that bin file so that's why we just provided the name here in case if your jmeter scripts are not in the bin folder of the jmeter okay 
so you need to provide a complete path of your geometer script okay now just enter this one and see what happens here okay so you will see that it will start executing the test and you will see some details here in the command prompt as well now you can see that it will start executing okay it will take some time and let's see what happens so you can see that the test got executed and we have a summary which is 10 threads okay this is the time this is the average this is the min max so we are getting some results here and we got end of the run so the jmeter script got executed without opening the jmeter and running from there okay now we want to see either we were having the 10 threads in the script okay so let's go to the jmeter here and if i go to the thread group here you can see that we have this 10 threads here in the jmeter okay now open the csv which is the important part here either we are getting the results or not okay so now let's open this one and you can see that we have results in the csv file so now if you need more help about the command and command prompt for that just go to the command prompt here and in the bin folder you need to type jmeter dash h so dash h means you're asking for the help here okay press enter here and it will provide you a list of help for you okay so for example if you want to list all the commands okay so this is how you can do it in the windows or this is in the linux okay so we have all other options available how you can do this using the command prompt okay to generate a report from existing csp file okay so if you want to run a jmeter to use a proxy server so this is a command so you can have all kind of a help from this one okay right now what we need to do is that we want to know about more commands so we need to use jmeter dot batch dash question mark okay so jmeter dot batch dash question mark now press enter it will list all the commands we have you can see that we have all the commands available here okay so dash h means help dash b means version if you want to log the file dash l okay so you find all the commands here in the gmeter if you want to know about these commands you need to type again gmeter dot bat dash question mark thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you like our content then do subscribe our channel like share and comment and once again thank you so much and see you in the next lecture